How would your friends describe you? Ooh, well, you know what? <laughs> There's one right here. Let's ask them. <laughs> What's a bit about your kind of educational background, work background? I was actually at university before this, and I didn't see myself going down that path. For me, the main kind of struggle was speaking to my parents about it. When she saw the office, she was like, I'm proud of you, so yeah. well done. And then I found out about degree apprenticeships. So it's, it's a win-win situation, right? You go uni and you get to work, you get the experience. What did you think about the insurance industry before you started and how's that changed? Insurance is so, so powerful and it's a lot bigger than what people actually think. It gets rid of fear. And when there's no fear, then there's no limitation. So wherever your interests are, there's something for you. But insurance is everywhere. It's, yeah. There's not a place where it isn't. Could you tell me a bit more about what a kind of typical day looks like for you? So I'd come in in the morning, 9 a.m., start the day nice and early. If I'm feeling extra special on that day, 8.30. <laughs> Every day is different, which is what I like. It keeps it interesting. Is there any kind of advice that you would give to anyone that wanted to, to go along the same path? Coming to this type of environment, there's a lot of imposter syndrome. You need to understand, you know what, I deserve to be here. I earned the right to be here. Don't, be, don't try and be a lone wolf. Yeah. You won't get as far as you think you would. This is your life. You're not going to get a second chance. You're running this race and you've got to finish it.